So now in this video, we're going to look at using a JFET as a switch. We're going to use the J310, and uh, right now the uh, switch is on. It's actually normally on, and when we give a, a negative signal to the ground, now you can see that the transistor turned off and the LED turned off. So we'll look at this circuit closer. So now to begin with, we're going to use a component that is not even in the uh, schematic diagram but it gives us this virtual ground so we need a uh, negative voltage in relationship to ground I have this DC power supply set uh, to 10 volts powering the rail and uh, this uh, TLE 2426 is splitting the rail so we'll zoom in to that uh, right now and it's just a three terminal component it looks like a, a TO92 if it isn't in fact a TO92 and so you can see the uh, top pin there which would be the uh, right pin if you're looking at the uh, flat side that's the in pin this is the common pin that goes to the negative rail in goes to the positive rail and then we have out so out is going to output half of the power supply voltage so we just saw that we have 10 volts at the rail and I will grab a multimeter and now I got the multimeter it's an auto ranging multimeter all I have to do is set it to voltage the red probe stays in that spot there I think I can measure it up to uh, 600 volts I believe always check your maximum voltage for your multimeters but otherwise it sets all the settings whereas a non auto ranging meter you would have to uh, set it to a voltage higher than uh, what you expect to measure but in case there you can see we have 10 volts at the rail tiny bit of loss due to uh, resistance in the wires and stuff so now this is our ground that's our zero volt reference point and we have 5 volts positive at the positive rail and then a negative 5 volts at uh, the negative rail here in relationship to our ground which is any place only one spot in this particular circuit where we have the uh, ground symbol so now that brings us to our component the J310 so this is a depletion mode there we go J310 depletion mode uh, component which means that normally it conducts until you turn it off and I uh, will talk about that a little bit later but in case left pin drain middle pin source uh, the right pin here pin number three is the gate the gate controls how well it conducts ultimately and uh, so the gate we're gonna put to the switch so we're gonna leave that floating for now we're gonna put that to the bottom the drain that's uh, the top pin now right there pin one that's gonna go towards the positive side of the power supply and then the uh, source which is the middle pin is gonna go to our virtual ground so we're just gonna put the uh, middle pin right to where our virtual ground is right there our ground and uh, so I'm going to grab an LED so cathode the uh, short lead goes to where the uh, drain is as you can see there the line lead the anode goes up one row so I'll kind of zoom in so it's a little easier to see that right there and then we'll grab a 220 ohm resistor right there going from the positive side of the power supply which is now 5 volts in relationship to our virtual ground and uh, there you can see one problem with leaving it floating that I have so it's a normally on component but I'm finding that I'm not an expert on this component but uh, I'm finding that if you take a I guess you would call it a pull to ground because a lot of times you have a resistor that pulls the voltage up to the positive rail other times you have it pulling to the negative rail this is kind of pulling the voltage to ground as far as the gate is concerned and uh, so there we saw why I don't have this floating I have this over here and by the way the uh, gate it's a diode we'll come to that in a little bit the way that we have this set up it is not passing any current the only current that's passing is uh, through here and then if we close the switch we'll have negative on one side and then ground there so a little voltage difference this will be a little more uh, positive current can flow either that way 
or that way, but a tiny bit. That's why we're using a high value uh, resistor. The gate's mostly just looking at the voltage. But there we have it. Now, we do not need to uh, have a resistor, as I said before. We can take a, a jumper or just apply the switch directly to uh, the uh, gate. So it's floating right now, and uh, that is why I accidentally uh, I accidentally shorted the power supply, actually. So let's go zoom back. That's the nice thing about this. Now I got the power supply back on, and the LED is on. So now, without accidentally shorting anything, we can go to the gate directly if we want to, just like if we had to switch wire directly to it and it turns off like that or to uh, prevent short circuiting or other stuff like I just did we could take a 10 kilo ohm resistor put it to the switch like that and uh, now we can connect the uh, top of the switch because it's separated top to bottom so it's connected across there and connected across there but it's separated top to bottom so we can plug that into the switch where the switch is right there and then to the uh, gate of our uh, J310 here and channel JFET transistor right there and so if I press the button now we have a direct connection to the negative route so it has to be more negative than the source by enough voltage to turn the transistor off completely and we have a little bit of a current meter on our power supply there you can see there's about 12 milliamps so the transistor's uh, blocking a little bit of current, but for the most part, the current's being set by the resistor and the voltage drop of the LED. Now when I hit this button, there you can see we have uh, no current flow. And that's one nice thing about the uh, JFET transistor, is that uh, it doesn't depend on current for turning it on and off. The current just goes through it, through the load and whatnot, for the uh, gate as long as you wire it properly you don't have extra current going on. Whereas with the bipolar junction transistor, you depend on current to get it to conduct. There's no current when it's not conducting as far as the base is concerned. But uh, in any case, that's one of the uh, benefits of the JFET. So now, over here, I drew the uh, chemical makeup of it. So it's N-type material and P-type material, like the bipolar junction transistor and like the uh, diode and whatnot but uh, the n-type material goes all the way from drain to source so n-type material it's probably silicon it does not conduct perfectly and so it's not like a piece of wire going from drain to source but it's you know relatively low resistance and that's why I said before it's limiting current a tiny bit but for the most part in this circuit the resistor is setting the current and the LED is blocking some voltage but in any case as you can see the LED is on and uh, right now it just naturally uh, conducts like that. We could uh, remove the switch from the equation, nothing nothing goes on and uh, that's helping hold it on. For some reason I can't leave it floating, maybe it's not intended to uh, be left floating but uh, in any case we have that situation. So now what happens when I press the switch? So we have that uh, conductive path there. When you press the switch, in this case, or you can even connect to the negative rail directly. And the reason why, so we'll go to the negative rail directly, and you can see that uh, there is no current flowing right now. And so there's like leakage and stuff. We could use a more accurate uh, meter. We'd find a little bit of current going. But uh, for the most part, now it's turned off. Before we were given nothing to the gate, the current was just flowing through uh, the uh, end type material and now we got a negative uh, voltage to the gate it has to be negative enough to turn it off that depends on the uh, component you're using but still it builds up what's called a depletion layer so you can see we got p-type material next to n-type material that's a diode this is how this is more positive now that is how you want a diode when you want to turn a diode off and uh, so there's no current flowing through it but there are charges that are involved so I mean you can uh, learn more physics and stuff to get the details on that but for this just realize that does not conduct and uh, of course if it's ground and ground 
that does not conduct either. You have the uh, same charges. But uh, in any case, we got negative here. And so it's not conducting plus, it's building up what's called a depletion area. And so the p-type material is actually wrapped around, that's why I got the dotted lines. It's wrapped around the n-type material. The n-type is like going through a tube, kind of. And uh, it squeezes on both sides. And uh, if you got enough voltage, if you use a uh, low enough negative voltage, it will conduct just not as well as uh, ground to ground. But uh, you get enough negative voltage, that squeezes it completely, and current stops, as we have with uh, the switch. And it's off right now because I'm directly to the negative rail. But we can go to the switch and go through the resistor. As I said before, it helps avoid short circuits. And I accidentally, when I was transferring the uh, jumper, I have current limited plus my power supply has short circuit protection. There you can see that's what happened. I, I had it in probably the negative and just bumped the uh, positive briefly. And without short circuit protection, if you have a power supply that lets enough current you have a bad spark and whatnot but this turns off automatically when you short circuit right there so that's a one of the protections one of the reasons why I like this portable supply so there you can see I turned it off by short circuiting also I have current limited to a 20 milliamps and uh, so even if it didn't turn off if we have uh, some resistance or whatever if we get up to more current than I want it'll stop at about 20 milliamps of current but short circuit it turns off but in case that's that's it that's the basics of this component it naturally wants to conduct and uh, you have to turn it off with a more negative voltage than the source you don't want to go positive because as we saw before this is p-type material and uh, this is n-type material so if that's more positive than this uh, good chance you'll have current flow through there and uh, you don't want that you probably won't damage it always look at the uh, data sheet the data sheet talks about if you do have that more positive the gate than the source but uh, in any case for now just avoid that uh, but uh, that's really it for this video hope you enjoyed thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video